What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll teach you this super cool infinite loop effect all done in Premiere Pro 2022. I've prepared a forward moving drone clip here and we will turn this into an infinite loop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my square tool like this and just draw out a square. Next up I'm going to go into Window, Central Graphics and we want to modify this triangle a little bit. I'm going to go into edit and then I'm going to make the width 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to center it like so and just close our essential graphics. And I'm going to drag our graphic all the way over our clip and let's change the scale of it to 20. Very nice. Next up, I'm going to go into video effects, keying, track matte key and apply that to our video clip and under track matte key i'm gonna select matte and then video 2. very nice next up i'm going to animate our square so i'm at zero zero in my sequence i'm enabling keyframes at scale i'm going to go four seconds forward in my timeline and i'm going to change the scale to 100. so we have this animation going on here Next up, I'm just going to add an ease into both of our keyframes and an ease out, like so. So it will ramp up and ease out. Very nice. Now that that's done, I'm going to select both my square and my video layer. Right click and hit nest. Hit OK. And then you want to duplicate this video layer by holding down Alt and dragging it up like so. And to the topmost video layer, you want to go to the start here. You want to right click it. You want to click frame hold options and just hit OK. Next up, you want to search for an effect called Echo. It is under time, then Echo, and apply that to the bottom mouse clip. Let's change the Echo time seconds to negative 0.5 and the number of Echoes to 10 and the Echo operator to composite and back. And now the effect is done. And if you want to preview it, you maybe want to render it or to change your resolution to something smaller. Let's just render it quickly. Okay, and it is all done rendering. Take a look. And here we have this infinite zoom effect. And if you want to keep this going, just loop a part of the video. For example, from four seconds. And we know that our echo has a delay of 0 0.5 seconds. So that means 15 frames in our 30 frame position. So cut the sequence off here and go 15 frames forward like so. And then just copy this. And now we will have a infinite zoom. Such a cool effect. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.